experience. While enjoying the lagoon, the crew is busy preparing a delicious barbecue of fresh fish, tropical fruits, and salads. After lunch, the afternoon is spent leisurely sunbathing, swimming, and beachcombing on an inhibited motu called One Foot Island. On return back to the main island, Baka Titia Tonga cruises amongst the small islands while the tour guides share interesting information about Aisaki and Cook Island culture. Tells and smoke and gear are provided. There's also an onboard bar and friendly onboard crew to ensure that your five-hour lacoon cruise is unforgettable. So when you're on the Aisaki day tour, um, when you come, you only need to bring a small check-in baggage as we provide um, small um, most things on the cruise. As we have many return visitors to the Cook Islands, some of them like to try the other outer islands. The Aisaki Achu combo is becoming very popular. It includes round-trip airfares from Rarotonga, Aisaki, and Achu. Two nights accommodation, each at Tamanu Beach Hotel and Achu Villas. For more information on Tamanu Beach and Achu Villas, they do have their own website, which you can find online. Achu is a very is very popular with worldwide twitchers, or more commonly known as bird watchers. Achu has many birds, including the kopeka, kakerori, and the rimatara lorikeet. Achu has many secluded beaches and caves to explore. Popular tours on Achu are cave tours, bird and eco tours, coffee tours, historical tours, fishing tours, and visiting the Tumanu, which is a local bush beer school. ALR Tonga, in conjunction with well-known National, National Heritage Director Gerald McCormack, is proud to present the National History Expedition Series. Gerald has lived and researched in the Cook Islands for many years and is a regular lecturer on ecotourism 